Primary day in Minnesota and voters are heading to the polls. If you aren't registered, you will need to show your ID at the door. Polls close tonight at 8. As long as you're in line by then, you will be able to vote. Some of the races we're watching for you tonight, the 7th Congressional District, Representative Michelle Fishbach is being challenged. We're also keeping an eye on the Senate to see who will challenge Senator Amy Klobuchar. Valley News Team's Gabriel Osler joins us live tonight in studio with what you need to know. Gabriel. Yes, indeed, Courtney. The difference in those two races is that Klobuchar is waiting to see who she faces in the general election, while Fishbach is just trying to make it out of the primary. She's not used to too much competition in District 7, which you see here covering most of the western half of the state. In 2020, she unseated the Democratic incumbent easily, and then she ran unopposed for the Republican nomination in 2022. But this year, she's got competition. Steve Boyd is a small business owner from Kensington with no political experience, which is an angle he's pushing, painting Fishbach as a political insider who is too legislation driven. His campaign has been successful enough where the Minnesota GOP was unable to endorse either candidate, which led to this primary. Although Fishbach does have the endorsement of former President Donald Trump. Then, looking at the Senate, incumbent Democrat Amy Klobuchar is waiting to see who the Republicans will put forth to challenge in November. The frontrunner appears to be former NBA player Royce Whites, who has secured the Minnesota GOP endorsement. He's also backed by several controversial figures such as Alex Jones and Mike Lindell, the MyPillow guy. Those associations have made some Republicans nervous and may be preferring Joe Frazier, who is a retired Navy commander, and he's viewed as being a little less fringe. But Courtney, as you mentioned, those polls close at 8 o'clock tonight. Soon afterwards, the picture for both races will become clearer, so stay tuned. All right, Gabriel, thank you so much. You can look for election results tonight right here on Valley News Live. And as we 